at 11.15 a.m. Call 365-1536 to find out more. Learn the ins and outs of real estate in three classes at Shoreline Community College. They prepare you for the real estate exam and meet state requirements. Call 546-4665. Those are just a few of the things happening around Puget Sound. I'm Marianne McClary for KCPQ. Q13, the Northwest's own movie channel, KCPQ. Trevor John, MD, weekdays at 3, here on Q13. It's continuing to battle it out. Who knows what 1986 holds. That's our report this hour. At 2.55, we'll see what trends are in store for us this year, according to the Barometer of Style, the state of California. That plus more news and weather right after the Big Valley. Q13, the Northwest's own movie channel, KCPQ. Trapper John, weekdays at 4, here on Q13. Good afternoon, I'm Marianne McClary. Two American F-15 fighter planes collided today in flight over West Germany. One pilot was killed and the other escaped with only minor injuries. One civilian was also killed from debris falling from the collision. Five other civilians were injured. Japanese authorities could have a new lead on the worst single plane crash in history. They found a tailpiece of the Japan Airlines 747 that went down in the mountains last August, killing 520 people. It's the first part of the plane's tail found on land, and investigators think it may help them determine how the tail disintegrated after the plane took off from Tokyo. Marilyn Klinghoffer is defending her move to sell the story of the Achille Loro hijacking and the death of her husband to a television producer. The family has been getting such offers since the hijacking, and Mrs. Klinghoffer says the story should be told. Her husband, Leon, was killed by hijackers during the pirating of the cruise ship. Not much wind outside at this hour, but the gusty stuff is expected to return to parts of the state later on today and tonight, particularly in the foothills beneath the Cascades. Small. By tonight in that area, the high today around 55, the low tonight around 40, 60% uh, chance of rain this evening. Rain likely again tomorrow, turning to showers in the afternoon, the high near 50. Next to New York and Paris, the state of California seems to be the trend capital of the world. More after this. Leg warmers, strange hairdos, roller skates, and yuppies, all trends of the last few years. Well, 1986 is now underway, and time to find out what's in store for us this year. And McDermott tells us what's hot and what's not. Will California fall into the ocean next year? Well, the crystal ball's a little fuzzy on that. But wait, what's this? Why, Mr. Potato Head? Yes, watch for the grand old man of spuddom to make a real comeback here in 86. But enough of that. Californians are concerned with more serious issues, like birth control for cockroaches. Research is now underway across the country, but California, being the trendy place it is, will no doubt pick up on the latest in extermination. But if 1986 means fewer roaches, it may also mean more cocaine users, at least among women and blue-collar types. Expect to see more rehabilitation facilities, already a booming business here. Also booming, the business of baby watching. California has one of the nation's largest nanny schools. But what about schools for the children? Well, Megatrend's author, John Nesbitt, thinks that may well be a weak link for California and the rest of the nation. Uh, educational systems are receding. They're producing uh, increasingly inferior products. That could lead to real trouble later on. For example, California's unemployment rate is expected to rise in 86 to 7.4 percent. The homeless, now numbered at about 30,000, will also increase. There is some good news, like more development in high-tech industries, expected to create more than 200,000 new jobs next year. Where, you say? Try San Diego. Some say it's one of the nation's 10 best cities to start a business. Well, here's more good news. Strenuous exercise will supposedly be out and will be into light aerobics. Watch for 60s styles to make a comeback, along with suspenders, argyles, and clean-shaven faces. That's clean shaven, Mr. Johnson. All in all, we're two to three years old, and so we now have to identify those people.